Beasley with Martin Bester. Yeah, after the passing of Liam Payne, you realize how passionate the One Direction fans are and how much uh, love there is for, for Liam and his bandmates. On the line is the One Direction fan group. Um, I think she does a lot of the organization for, for them is Amy Saunders. Amy, how are you? Hi, good morning. I'm good. How are you? I'm right, thank you. So what do you do for the, the 1D fan group? Uh, so I just basically help everyone organize stuff or get to know about stuff that's happening with context of One Direction, Harry Styles, Liam Payne, Louis, you can name it. Um, so with specific to the memorials, um, I help to get all the information of different groups of fans organizing them. And I just share them and try to spread the word as far as possible. So there's an actual fan club? Yes, uh, we have a page. I'm oh, sorry. We have a page on Instagram and that's how it started. And with that, we formed a WhatsApp group that is now almost consisting of 200 members. And with this group, we have organized memorials from Cape Town to Durban to Gauteng. I believe it. That's yeah, amazing. So mm. it's, everything is uh, fan planned, uh, fan organized. Um, we aren't depending on anyone. So um, it's just our little group of people. <laughs> But that's amazing, though. And, and, and you were a fan from the start? You've been a fan for a while? Oh, yeah, definitely. I've been there since 2010, straight through to 2015. Um, I'm still currently a fan. Um, and it's just, it's been a constant in my life for more than 10 years. Wow. Is that how long they've been around? One Direction? Yeah. yeah. They've what? been around since 2010. Wow. Sure. Time flies. Yes. And, and next year, it's 10 years since they um, officially split. Wow. Oh, what? Wow. Yeah, it's insane. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Uh, obviously, when Liam passed away, it was a big shock because as a, as a fan of the group, you, you probably, you were probably living in a hope that you'd see them all back together on a stage yes. for, for a, you know, a reunion. Yes. Yes. It was a very surreal feeling. I think all of us had a little bit of hope in us for mm. a reunion someday. Mm. Uh, but I think with Liam passing, it, that possibility just kind of mm. dwindled away. Um, it's not going to be the same. But yeah, it's not. It's not going to be the same. It'll never be the same. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it's a very, very tragic situation. Shame. And so, okay, so you you're doing memorials across the country this Saturday. How does it work, and where is it? Yes. So um, in Gauteng, there will be three different memorials. There will be one in Melrose, there will be one in Midrand, and then there will be one in Benoni. Um, they all start at 1 p.m. in the okay. afternoon. Uh, so you just come, you can bring a photo, you can bring a message, you can bring a balloon. Uh, we um, ask of people to wear something red as it was his color in the band. And we just want to come together to um, remember him and think about him. It, there's no formal memorial. Um, as I said, it's just fans. So we just want to be together and show, show support for his family and friends and that they're not alone in the situation. That is incredibly um, sweet. Yeah, that we... It really um, is. One Direction formed a virtual family all across the globe. Mm. And um, times like this just shows how we all can get together to show our support and love. Mm. Um, but yeah, we can. We do everything we can, you know. Um, being in South Africa, we don't have a lot of options as we don't get a lot of tools or whatever. But we do what we can and we are thankful for the opportunities that we get. Keep the love alive for One Direction. Yes. Um, tell me, if, if someone wants to join in, is there a Facebook group, uh, Instagram, TikTok? How does it work? Yes, so um, there is an Instagram group. Um, it is lt.hs.southafrica and um, you can follow along there um, I post all the details about the memorials on that page mm. and then um, I, on the day of the memorial I will be going live on the Instagram page as well because I know a lot, a lot of people are mm. busy with the mm. metric exams and end exams so they all have colours in the group I don't know that either yeah. what colour so is of, Harry? Um, Harry if I remember correctly he was green or blue so each of them had a different mic color oh, uh, just so that they knew which mic is which yeah. member's mic so that they don't get it mixed up like Liam was red Zane was yellow and then uh, Niles was the Irish flag so it was orange white and green Louis was blue and Harris was green 
Wow. Huh? Yes. I learned something there. Yeah. Do you have a favorite yeah. song? Um, from One Direction, definitely. It's definitely Stockholm Syndrome. Um, it's been my favorite for years. Um, but overall, all of their songs has been very, very meaningful to me. And yeah, it's I'm been sure. a constant in my life. <laughs> Shame. Well, listen, well, okay, well, all the best for Saturday, 1 o'clock. Uh, memorials uh, for, for Liam Payne across the country and three in Gauteng. What did you say? Benoni, yes. Midrand and... And then Malrose. And Melrose. Okay. Yes, yes. Well, uh, hook them up on, on social media on the Instagram page so you also know. And if you want to go there, uh, all the best. And thanks for sharing, Amy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I really, really appreciate it. Lots of love. Hey, cheers. Thank you. Enjoy Bye. your day. Bye. Bye. As Amy Saunders. She is from the One Direction fan club in South Africa. And they're holding memorials across the country for Liam Payne after he passed away about a week ago. Very, very, very sweet and kind of them, I think. You're with your own family. Breakfast with Martin Bester.